everyone. Today we're making a chocolate 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 slime for Valentine's Day. We hope you stick around to the end of the video to see how it all comes together. We're starting out with a clear slime and a white slime I made three days ago. We're adding brown gel food coloring to both. When you add brown food coloring to the clear slime, you get a pretty clear brown that we typically use for a chocolate drizzle. When you add this brown food coloring to white slime, you end up with something that looks like peanut butter. We don't want peanut butter though, we want a milk chocolate color. This is happening because the brown food coloring I'm using is really like a dark yellow that's getting lightened by the white slime. In order to get a chocolate color, we're going to mix these two slimes together. Then we're going to do some color correction with other food colors. Our goal is to get as close as we can to the color of this fake chocolate chip. On a previous attempt, I tried to darken the color of this peanut butter brown slime by adding black, but that ended up turning the slime gray and I had to throw it away and start over. This happened because the base of the black food color I'm using is actually dark, dark purple. Without going too much into color theory, we're going to fix this color instead by adding some red food coloring and then adding our black food coloring. Here you can see the difference between the original peanut butter color and what we've done to correct it. It's still not a perfect match to the chocolate chip, but we're going to roll with it. Now it's time to start putting this slime together. We're putting brown clay in the container to be our brownie. With our brownie in place, we're going to add our lightest brown slime and then our milk chocolate slime on top. Now it's time to make some chocolate bars and ice cream with Crayola Model Magic Clay. This clay is too dry to work with, so we're adding a lot of lotion and then some soft white clay to soften it up. To make our chocolate bars, we're using this silicone mold. The best way I found to make this work is put a small amount of clay into the mold, pack it into the corners, and then pull it away quickly. It won't be perfect as the clay is soft, but these chocolate bars still turned out cute and perfect for our slime. With the last of our chocolate model magic, we're adding a little black food coloring to darken it up for dark chocolate ice cream. Then we're making two scoops of ice cream with our ice cream scooper. Remember to let some of the clay smush out around the edges of the scooper. Next we add fake chocolate chips and fake chocolate sprinkles. Our fake chocolate bars look so cute on top of our chocolate 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 slime. We're almost done, but we still need to add our fake chocolate M&Ms in Valentine's Day colors. Our final step is to add a chocolate drizzle with some of the clear chocolate slime we made at the start of the video. To do this, we stretch the clear slime over the bowl and lay it down. Then we break off the slime at the edge of the bowl, lay the slime end to end so it looks like a chocolate drizzle done at a bakery.
This slime turned out so realistic and makes me want to go make a bowl of chocolate ice cream on top of a brownie to eat. If you love how this slime turned out, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know in a comment what kind of slime you want to see next. To see more, subscribe, and then join the Noti Squad by hitting the notification bell so you never miss a video. You can also visit us on TikTok.